Hello, I'm Gila Moonstar and welcome to my first makeup review. Um, I'm an almost 30 year old drag queen that's been doing drag for a little over a year and um, I think this is a demographic for all of you lazy people out there who just kind of want to know if it works. If you're looking for somebody with high energy, there's a lot of people in their teens, um, you know, some influencers who can give you all of that, but it's like 11 o'clock where I am right now and I just have been dying to open my Kimchi X Trixie collab and try it on. Um, I'm gonna open it and then look at the product and then I'm gonna get into a little bit of a quick beat and then maybe do a photo shoot, so okay. So here's me opening the package. Review unboxing. So I hope you like my little studio. This is a little unsteamed sequin backdrop that I have. It comes in this little thing right now. So I open the packaging. A little card from good old Kim. Some stickers. And then I ordered the bundle, so here we go. Let's see what comes in it. Oh, wow. Bunch of this stuff. Yay! First thing I see here is um, the fan, which I've been really, really into. This is super cute. It's big too, I've been needing that. Palette. Oh wow, it's really nice. It's called the BFF Forever Collab. Um, obviously, I love kimchi. Gotta support my Asian queens out there. And Trixie is also very. Um, charismatic and hilarious and talented, so, um, you know, why not support some fair businesses? I might do have scissors, because it's gonna be a little bit of a tape situation here. So, what else can I tell you about myself? I'm in Denver, I'm Denver-based drag queen here. Let's just try to go for it. Oh yeah, this little holographic feature. Oh wow, that's actually a lot prettier than I thought. That's nice, right? I mean, I've seen this. Oh, cinnamon sugar is going to be my go-to glitter. I love putting um, a base or a la mode. These two are gonna be my base uh, eyeshadow that I put for my center. I do like a fake cut crease. I don't put, I don't do like a cut crease then put concealer. I literally just do the the base of it with whatever like a whitish glitter then use black or brown eyeshadow to create a fake cut crease because I don't have the time to put liquids over powders and all this stuff. But I do love all these colors too. Not such a big thing of pastel because it doesn't show up on um, like a bit of a tanner Asian skin but these are very nice. I like that and I like these chrome. I love a good yellow. Um, these can be really good for contour so Overall great, huge mirror, love it. Next is going to be, what I was really excited about this collection was a lot of the highlighters and blushes, which um, I've been using a lot of eyeshadows for highlighters and blushes because I am pretty basic, but this is very cute. This is gonna be the Collab Forever brush. Blush? Not a blush, it is a blush. I don't know how to do this, you guys, I promise I am. Almost 30, um, I have a full-time remote job. It's <laughs> it's not easy. If you if you follow me and become one of my subscribers, I swear, um, I'll quit my job and do this full-time, I promise. But in the meantime, I do this late at night. <laughs> okay. That's so cute. I know I try to smell it. That's, that smells like it's white. That's cute, right? I love it. I like using um, more of a a bolder pink anyways on my cheeks and for blush. Uh, you can follow me at Gila Moonstar on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. And um, if you live in my area, uh, around the Denver, Colorado area, you can add me on Facebook. I really don't add a lot of randoms on there. So if I've met you in person, um, feel free to add me. Oh, I'm excited about this highlighter. All right, let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's good, right? Wow. 
I've been using uh, the Fenty highlighter that I got from a, like the subscription makeup box um, for a long time now. Or like I said in the beginning, I use a lot of eyeshadow, like shimmer eyeshadows. Um, some pretty good stuff though. Some stuff from Morphe palettes and I got this uh, Natasha Dona really small palette that had a really great um, like shimmer shadow that I've been using. This is pretty revolutionary, their lips, just because of the mirror. Like I've never seen a mirror like that. And then the way that it does release is this button at the top. Like, come on. And I've actually ran out of my um, red lipstick recently. I was using a Jeffree Star red lipstick for the longest time, but it ran out. So I am so glad that this came when it did so that I can um, start using these. So I'm not gonna give you the names of these. This is called Geisha, but you can look it up. It's on their website, it's on their Instagram. The point of doing this is to really just kind of do a transformation after I show it all, but this is gonna be really cute. Gingerbread, like, come on. This is next level, you guys. Like, amazing. Um, makeup is really fun. I think it's definitely one of the things I do enjoy about drag. I'm a performer by trade. Um, for those of you that don't know, I actually was an opera singer um, professionally for a few years. Like I had my master's degree in music and I got into drag just because I got really bored of classical music and I wanted to create something that was more um, with, you know, an autonomy of creative control. So that's why I did drag. Uh, this is really cute. I think this is either the liquid lip or the gloss. I should read it. Liquid lipstick, yeah. I do prefer a liquid lip a little bit just because um, the way it dries for drag is uh, less transfer proof. So I don't use a nude too much. I like to do just like bolder reds or sometimes colorful colors, sometimes black. Um, my drag aesthetic is a little bit all over the place, but you know, I sing a lot. I've been known to be a bit of a lipstick assassin here and there. I feel like this is a Trixie color. Um, I like to be campy. I like to, you know, just be stupid. Drag for me, I, I know that there's a respect and art form for it, especially for people that do pageants, but oh my God, drag is just so stupid. I even like, you know, I think a lot of queer people watch Drag Race, but a lot of people that take drag and fashion too judgmentally, or like too judge judgmental and so serious, it's, it's so stupid. I don't get it. I don't have the time to um, care. <laughs> um, what is this color? Another like peachy nude. Um, so cute. It, you can just tell that they put a lot of um, love in this. I mean, kimchi and, and uh, Trixie, their career is putting on makeup, you know, so. I feel like for us who are dabbling in the same field, it's people you can trust. Um, how many more do we have? Like so far, oh my gosh, this bundle is pretty big. Uh, retail, I paid 160 with a coupon code from um, one of my local queen friends here, Lulu All Night. Uh, go follow her, she's stunning. So, so far I've opened three lipsticks that are the two lipsticks and then two liquid lipsticks. I have the highlighter and the blush and the palette. So this is so far a lot of products. Um, I'm gonna make this a little bit cuter on my table so I can get a shot here and the fan as well. But I'm just gonna be opening up these palettes or these lipsticks and talk a little bit more. I am excited about this one. This is the straight up red liquid lip. Oh wow, okay. Uh, and then I think there's a gloss in here as well, right? Yeah, this is the pink sorbet. Um, so I, drag I think has become so popular nowadays, right? It's definitely getting to that bit of oversaturation, which I'm totally fine with, you know, this is pink sorbet. This looks like it's gonna be cute. Um, just as long as, you know, 
as people still respect it and people do not think that it is just a fad just because it has become more accessible. Um, I've only been doing drag for a little over a year, but I know it's something that I will be doing for a lot longer. Oh wow, I actually really like this. Um, hello, hello, hello. One of Trixie's songs. Um, just because I've already dedicated so much time into it and I keep having fun, so why not, you know? I have uh, loved to create just like numbers from scratch, or usually I've been doing these competitions and a lot of the themes that are uh, given for a competition allow me to create within a outline of sorts. So that's been fun. Uh, some of my next goals for drag are I'll make it on a TV show. It doesn't have to be Drag Race. I auditioned for a TV show most recently and um, I signed the NDA, I didn't read it too well, but I, I think I can say that I, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, and it's like, whatever, it's, I'll try again, basically, is, is the moral of the story. Um, let me put this all away. Yeah, this is really cute. I'll go through a little breakdown here once I clean this up a little bit. I wish I had an assistant. <laughs> you guys, I really do want to win the lottery just because working is not for me. Did I say my sign was a Taurus? All I like to do is literally eat, sleep, go on vacation, you know? I can't do all of that all the time. I swear, I have like a full-time job and I like have a cat and uh, <laughs> you know, I, I try to be active in my life and do things. How do people do this? Like, how do beauty influencers do? How do beauty influencers do this? Like, it's fun, but my God, so much work. Capitalism allows me to buy this, but I need money for that. <sighs> my intrusive thoughts are winning because it's late, but I'm choosing to do this now because tomorrow I actually have a completely free day off of work. Um, and I love that. I love that for me. I love to take advantage of it. It's just so cool when I don't have to worry about like leaving my house. <laughs> Is anybody else like this? Like COVID's over. I mean, Miss, Miss Monkeypox is coming, but I'm gonna take the camera off my little tripod and show you the whole, the whole bundle here. So, ooh. This is the bundle. Kimchi Chic, Trixie Cosmetics. We have eight lipsticks, two blushes, and the palette, which is, once again, absolutely stunning. So there you go. I'm gonna put a quick base on and then just play around with some makeup. Okay, we put a little quick base beat down my foundation, a little bit of contour. Um, didn't even glue my eyebrows, this is just like eyebrows on top of my actual eyebrows, but I have really light eyebrows. And just thought I'd put a little shaggy rocker wig and a look together. All right, time to try out these products. Let's go for it, right? Trixie Mattel and Kimchi Blush, let's see. I'm excited, oh, this is gorge. Take my Morphe something something brush, here we go. Oh shit, that looks good. Ooh. That's nice. I love blush, so I go a little bit heavy. I'm 
so cool. Clear back. That's good. Definitely shows. I like it. Um, maybe a little mix mix. I put a little bit under my jawline too. Just to give some, cause I think I'm, um, I am, <laughs> I look like freaking Eddie from Stranger Things, but I'm living. Just wait, I'm gonna yassify Eddie for, but yeah, I, I think I have pink undertones. So this is why I really do like using blush um, almost everywhere, just cause it looks good. I'm a mess. <laughs> All right, now the highlighters. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Okay, okay. We're seeing it. I like this color. Okay, I like this actually. Well, look cute as a bow. And then, of course, we have got to highlight our nose. Is that? You guys, I'm struggling. Huh? Drag is so weird. Can you tell? I don't know. It's not like super, super, super mega blinding, but it works. Um. Let's do the eyes now. So, let's try this palette. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is so cute. All right, I like to use my fingers. It is what it is. I want to try the cinnamon sugar so bad. Oh my God. Okay, it looks so creamy. Here we go. Um, Are you guys seeing this? Oh my god! This is from just one swipe of the finger. Are y'all crazy? Oh my god. That's so shiny! I like that a lot. <laughs> Let's try this one too. I want to try the um, Ala mode. Maybe we'll do one in their corners. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, they're so buttery. I know Kim always says that, but I really do feel it. Watch me use some of these as my highlighters, honestly. Let me try, actually. Um, this is crazy. Oh my, God. oh my gosh, come on. That's nice. That's, I'm telling you, I like using eyeshadows as highlighter better. They just show up more. Like, look at that. That's nice. Can you even tell? I can. That's all that matters. Okay, now I gotta do my crease. I will be doing, um, usually I like to do the darkest color here, uh, which they don't really have. So I'm gonna maybe do chocolate souffle and opera cake. Um, just as my fake crease. Can you guys tell I'm really freaking good at makeup? Okay. That'll look cute, I promise. There's not too much fallout. I do tap my brushes a lot. 
<laughs> Watch me literally put this whole palette in front of the camera. You got a little bit of a crease. That's cute. All right, what color? I'm thinking Dragonfly, right? To go with my shirt, or Drag Royalty. Or should I, do, I might do Dahlia first. Um, Dahlia and then Dragonfly. So let's try these. Wow, that is very freaking pigmented. Okay. Was not expecting it, TBH. But pleasantly surprised, oh my goodness. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's so pigmented. <laughs> Who says that? Everyone. Um, my cat is outside. If you hear him, you might not. But he just wants to hang out with me. But the door is closed. Unfortunately, this will tear up my drag room. That's cute. We're getting there. See, I'm not that bad at makeup, I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into that uh, purple now. The purple sparkles. You guys, it is... Okay. I fear this might be very pigmented. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just a bit... Not fear, but it's gorge. The quality. It's really good. Um, let me do. Let me do a little bit of sapphire as well for the under. That's cute. Nice, isn't it? Oof, we're getting there, y'all. I mean, that's pretty much done. That is pretty much done. So. What do you think? Do we live? Do we live for it? It looks cute. Okay. Let me do the rest of my eye makeup and move on. Okay, I put my eyeliner on, a little bit of a lash, and my lip liner. I use Juvia's Place, best lip liner I've found so far. This is in color Scorpio, the Lux liner. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm deciding, I usually do red lip, but with this outfit, I'm deciding between two colors. Either the Hello Hello, which is more of an orange brown, or a gingerbread, which is more of a brown brown. I think I'm gonna try the liquid. I'm gonna do the hello, hello. Um, so let's give it a shot. We gotta take off this sticker in the mirror. I love that both the liquid and the, um, the non-liquid, what is the non-liquid cream? <laughs> both have the mirrors. So, so cute. Applicator, okay, let's try it. Oh. Nice, so far such a really great creamy, oh wow, it's already dry, okay. The formula though. Y'all.
This formula does not play. Ooh! I kind of like it. Just have to blend the. What do I think? Hmm. I don't know if it was the exact match for this outfit, but the opacity and everything is pretty fierce. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of um that freaking purple glitter. It's gonna be stunning. Ready? Just wait. Like, look at this. This purple glitter is everything. Uh. I mean, that already like changed it up. So good. Mm. Just add a little bit of that touch of purple, you know? Mm. Yeah, it definitely was cute. Gotta clean up my, um, Got it on the side of my lip a little bit there. What do you think, y'all? Is this a serve look? Am I lash holding? Thanks, Kimchi and Trixie. <laughs> Should we do a gold thumbnail? <laughs> Cute look. Love the highlighter. Love the shot. Oh! I almost dropped it. This is so good. 